Hey everybody, it's Ghost. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up our Discord bot that comes free with the QB and ESX servers. Um, this video will be a bit different than normal. It's going to be a bit more raw. I'm not going to edit it. I need to warn you that I am incredibly autistic and it normally is quite hard for me to do things like this. You probably hear me stutter or make issues now and then. So I just want to put it out there. This might be a bit different, uh, so bear with me. So our servers come with a Discord bot and that's for QB and ESX and that Discord bot will allow you to do things like run a command such as money and it will show you how much money your character in your 5M server has within the bank for the cash and the crypto. You can also use the command to give money to people so you could give money to another person. Now I just want to stress when a player joins a 5M server it will save their Discord ID within to the database. If a player does not have their Discord linked up to 5M it will just input unknown and they won't be able to obviously use it. But what you can do is if you have a player that doesn't have Discord linked you can copy the user ID and manually paste it into the database next to their player. Okay. You can also do the command gang and this will allow you to see what gang you're in and grades and everything else. You can also do a command inventory and it will show you what items you have in your inventory. The reason I have all this pre-done for me is because I started the video yesterday uh, and this is just easier for me to just go through the entire list instead of doing each command and stuff. So you can see all the items in your inventory. You can also do the command car shop and it will list all of the vehicles for sale within the vehicles table. Now, there is a limit to how much text the Discord bot can paste. So you will see the list broken up and that's because it's the only way to paste that amount of cars into one message. Otherwise, there, it'd be a character limit. As you can see, we have a lot of vehicles in our QB core server. It's all the GTA Cup 5 vehicles. Obviously, we've removed all the branded vehicles. You can also buy vehicles, so you can choose a car from the list, you can buy that car, and you can also give it a custom number plate. I do want to stress that this bot is mainly designed for when the player is not in the server, because the bot is designed to not always, you know, it's not going to sync data constantly, otherwise that can cause a lot of lag and stress on your roleplay server. So it will mainly fetch when the bot's first started, or shut down, or certain commands, etc bots fully open source you can do whatever you want with it print it out and fuck it for all i care um but no feel free to add on to the bot uh, you can use archon log and make things go live and change it if you wish you know it's really easy i literally made this in a few minutes it, it's not hard and i really recommend having fun with you know just learning so let's jump into the actual stuff so basically what i've done is i've downloaded my QB server, the latest 1.4. I've extracted it, set up the VPS, I've imported a database. The Discord bot uses a local database currently. Uh, you can change that, okay? So I have the bot set up on a VPS where the server's also running, because it's easier. However, you can have the bot running on your home computer, uh, on a Raspberry Pi, whatever you want. And then obviously you'd have to change the connection details to log into a database. So I've opened up the entire folder via Visual Studio Code, which you can do via Open Folder. This is also really good if you're looking for certain text to translate, change or edit. It's fantastic. And you can do that by searching here. You're going to have to create a bot on the Discord developer portal. I'm not going to show you that. It takes literally a few seconds and I'd have to edit my video quite a lot to hide some private stuff and I can't be bothered. It's too easy. So go ahead and make a Discord bot on the developer portal. You're going to have to copy the token and stick the token into your secrets.json. Okay. You're also going to have to add the Discord bot to your desired server, like Discord server. Again, the, the video that you watch will help you with that. It's literally a few second minute or process. It's very simple. But I'm going to teach you how to set up Python on your host. So what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and download Python. You can go to python.org and download and you can go ahead and download the latest version of Python. Python is amazing. You, these are modules, you can import modules and basically it saves you type and code yourself. It's quite a lazy route of learning how to code. Some people hate it because they say you don't actually learn much. Other people love it. Uh, I love it. I, I think it's fantastic. With Python, you can build an automated turret that uses a webcam and shoots an AK-47 and guards your garage. So if anyone tries to steal your Lambo, they get their face blown off. It's really handy when you live in places like, uh, I don't know, bad places abroad. Not that I've ever done that. 
So you, what I'm going to do now is give you the basics. So once you've installed Python onto your host, you're going to have to go ahead and install some of these modules. So go ahead and open a terminal. This will open up down the bottom. Okay. Now you're going to have to install the modules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Discord. Now I will stick this in the description of the video for you. Okay. So what I'm doing here, I've got pi hyphen m pip install spelled incorrectly. I've just noticed, and then Discord. And that's basically going to go ahead and install the Discord module. Now there are ways to install these modules to environments, which are folders, and keep it all retained instead of installing it globally. Uh, but when I'm not teaching you that right now, this is a quick install, so I'm just going to press enter. I do already have this installed, so not much will happen, okay? I'm then going to have to do the same for MySQL connector, and that is used to obviously connect to the database, which is 5M, SQL, MySQL, you know. We're going to open up a new terminal. I'm going to press up. That's going to bring up my last command I entered. I'm going to paste in my SQL connector and again, press enter. So go ahead and press enter and that's going to install. I, I already have this installed, but I'll press enter just for the sake of this video. So that's done. So now if you have your discord bot in one of your discord rooms, it's going to show offline until you turn the bot on. Another thing you're going to have to do, if it's the first time using Python, you're going to have to install the Python extension in Visual Studio Code. So when you open up this folder, which is Python within Visual Studio Code over here, it might say over here, like install Python. Uh, if it does, you're going to have to install that extension because then you'll have this little play button. Okay. I'm going to press this play button to start the bot. Now you don't have to do this. You can use a batch file or many other things. I'm keeping this simple. All right. So if you're one of those people out there and you're watching this video and you're like, hey, you could have just done this, this and this. Uh, I'm trying to keep it simple, dude. So just press the play button and it will turn on your bot. If you do not have the play button, it's basically because you do not have the Python extension installed. You can go over to extensions here and install Python. Also ensure you have Python installed on the machine. Okay. So you need to install Python basically twice. As you can see now, the bot is online. If you're turning it on, you have any errors, you, may, you would see it in here. If there's an error, it's going to appear in your terminal. From the top of my head, uh, the only errors you should encounter if you've done everything correctly and you have a new host is you may have an error saying something like, I don't know, uh, C, yeah, C++, you may have C++ missing or some sort of net framework. So you may have to install that. And if you do, it will tell you in red and it will likely give you a link to follow and download. Uh, it's very simple. If you're a support customer, and you get stuck, feel free to hollow at one of us. I'm going to try and assist you. I hope this has helped. I've tried to keep it simple. It is very simple. Um, the only, I would recommend watching a video if, to learn how to just make an application via the Discord developer portal. That literally takes a few seconds. Make sure your bot has admin privileges and in privileges intent to like talk within your Discord room. Uh, and obviously you have to add your bot token in here, which I've mentioned. Uh, but yeah, if this bot won't work with generic QB servers or ESX servers because ours is changed in a way. But if you are looking to purchase this bot, then yeah, hey, is that we can probably sort you out. Uh, we might have to give you some code to put into your server to make it work, but we'll definitely help you out. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we're done. If you support customer get stuck, let me know. I'm gonna see you motherfuckers in the new year. Bye.